Drock OS, Michael Jackson edition, which you can also call the killer of biometrics OS. Because this is the only operating system that gives you 40 plus FPS in free fire just by applying a few special settings. In fact, the gameplay you're watching on screen right now is without any settings. And even then, it's running quite smoothly. Now, what are those settings? How to install it? How to download it? I'll explain everything. But before that, let's talk about the system requirements of this operating system. The recommended RAM to run this OS is around 4 GB but you can even install it on a 2 GB RAM system. Other than that, a dual core processor is enough to run it, and you don't need any graphics card. So now, enough talking, let's start the video. Many of my subscribers face issues while downloading files, so I'll walk you through the complete process. First, go to the About section of my channel, where you'll find the link to my website. Click on it to open the site. After this, you'll see a search bar here where you need to search for Drock OS. Once you do that, a post will appear at the top. You just have to open that post. Now, scroll down a little and you'll find the download link. Since it's a direct media fire link, you can easily download the files without any hassle. So here, the zip file has been downloaded and inside it, you will find everything you need, like the free fire, a PK grub code, disk genius, grub to win, etc. This means you won't need to visit my website again and again. First, you need to extract this zip file. The total size of the file is around 1.2 GB, so it won't take much time to extract. After that, in the next step, you need to install Disk Genius. You will find the setup file in the folder from where you need to launch it. Then, just like you install PC software, you will need to install it as well. After installation, go back to the same folder and copy the files from there. Make sure to select the files according to your system's architecture. After that, you need to open the main directory of Disk Genius and paste the copied files there. Replace any existing files if prompted. Now, simply launch it. After that, you need to select any partition, right-click on it, and choose the format option. Keep in mind that the partition you select must be completely empty and your system should have at least 20 GB of free space to run this OS smoothly. Next, you need to select EXT4 as the partition system and leave the volume label empty. Then, click the Format button, and your partition will be formatted in just a few seconds. Once the partition is formatted, you need to open it and create a new folder. Name this folder in a specific way, and make sure there are no spelling mistakes, as even a small spelling mistake could lead to a boot error. After that, inside this folder, create another new folder and name it Data. Now, go back to the extracted folder where you will find the Drock OSISO file, which you need to extract since it's a 5 GB ISO, so it may take a while to extract. Once the extraction process is complete, you need to copy all the files and then drag and drop them into Disk Genius to paste them. Next, go back to the extracted folder where you will find the Grub installer. Simply open it. I have provided the online version of it because it has a very low chance of errors. Whenever you run it, it will install all the necessary files according to your system. At this point, the installation is now complete, and now you just need to launch it. Once opened, click on Manage Boot Menu, then select Add New Entry. From the drop-down, choose the submenu option. After that, in the title, type Drock OS, then click on Edit Custom Code. Now, copy the entire text from the downloaded grub code and paste it here. After this, you might see an error message like this. You can simply ignore it. Now, save the file and click apply. So, the setup is now complete. I'll restart my PC and record the next part using a phone. After restarting, the boot menu will appear where you can select either Windows or Android OS. A. Since we're installing Android, I'll select the Android entry. Now choose the first option, then press Enter, then press Escape, and the OS will start booting. As soon as the booting is complete, you will now see the Android setup page. And just like you set up your Android phone, you need to set this up in the same way. So guys, Drock OS has been successfully installed without any errors. Now, let's talk about the apps in this OS and its rare Android version. If I show you the Android version, you can see that this OS is running on Android 7.4. 1, which you won't find in any Phoenix OS mode or even in Biometrics OS. Moreover, 
you won't face any issues related to Wi-Fi in this OS. And if you do face any, I've already created a fix video for it, which you can watch by clicking the I button at the top. Additionally, you will find pre-installed software here, and this OS will offer full support for the Play Store. Now, let's talk about the installation of Free Fire. There are two methods to install Free Fire. Either you can directly download it from the Play Store, or you can manually install the APK that you extracted earlier when we were installing the OS. The best method is to go with the second one, so that's the method I will follow. For this, I will go back to the folder where I had extracted the files in Windows, and from there, I will install the Free Fire APK. So the game is installed, and now I'll show you how you can compress the graphics for smoother performance. First, you need to install the Activity Launcher. Since this app is only 2 MB, it will install quickly. You will also find the download link for this app along with my other files. Once that's done, open Activity Launcher and click the OK button to proceed. From there, select GL Tool and choose the second option. At this stage, it is crucial to follow my settings exactly as applying the wrong configuration could get your account banned. After setting everything up correctly, simply close the app. This way, you can compress the graphics of Free Fire and enjoy the game with a good FPS. Now, the gameplay I'm going to show you will be without any settings and we'll see how many FPS we get. So, let's go ahead and launch Free Fire now. Now, as you can see, we've reached the login page. For this demonstration, I'll be logging in using a guest account but you can choose to log in with Facebook or Google if you prefer. Moving forward, we've now entered the lobby, and the game is running smoothly without any lag. So, let's jump into a match and check how much FPS we can achieve. Alright, the match has started, and as you can see, I'm getting around 25 to 30 FPS. Not only that, but the key mapping is also working perfectly, making the gameplay experience even better. Additionally, I tried playing Clash of Clans on this OS, but unfortunately, it got stuck on the game loading screen. So, if you're thinking of playing Clash of Clans on this OS, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you still want to play it, I've already made a dedicated video for it, which you can watch by clicking on the tutorial on the left.